I've finally washed my hair after two months of protective styling and this is how it went to see all the products that I used to keep my hair moisturized and curly and get my hair back to life carry on watching so here we are two months later done my takedown and this is wash day as you can see my hair is grown it's got thickness but it is dry and I have washed my hair during the protective style but obviously there's nothing like a good old wash when your hair is completely out of that style so let's begin so I start off with the Tresemme Clarifying Shampoo, Replenished and Cleanse. It says it cleanses in one wash, but I'm going to do two. Secondly, I'm going to go in with the Olive Oil Hair Mayonnaise from Vitel, which contains oat protein and pro-vitamins. This restores the moisture and conditions my hair. Then for added hydration, I'm going to go to Tresemme Rich Moisture that has vitamin E in it. So before I apply any products to my hair, I wet my hair just to get rid of any product buildup. Yes, I'm showing off about the growth and the thickness, guys. Now I'm going to separate my hair because that's the best way for me to wash my hair. So I've separated those sections. I'm going to split my hair again into fours. So I'm going to have quarters. I find that this is the best way to wash my hair overall, just to make sure I get rid of any residue on my scalp, any product buildup. And also it gives me ease to finger detangle my hair the best way possible and make sure I'm just not missing any parts. Now I've got my sections. I'm going to go in with my shampoo and I'm going to start on the back as you can see. And I just get all the peripherals. So the back of my neck and I'm just going to go around and just as you can see, I'm starting at the roots and I'm just trying to rub it in. Reason being, when I had my hair in the knotless braids, this is where I had the wax and this is where I have buildup. So therefore, I'm trying to loosen any of the buildup. And as I said, I will go back in again for the second time. You've most probably come across this tool watching a couple of YouTube videos or two. But what this tool does is stimulate blood flow to the scalp, promoting healthy hair growth. But it also removes the buildup and loosens any residue on the scalp that my pads or my fingers didn't get. As you can see here, I'm just finger detangling because I find it's a lot easier to do and gentler on my hair than using combs and brushes and detangling stuff. I will be using that later on, but right now I think the immediate detangle I need to do it with my fingers. So then I'm going to go in on each section, as you can see, and just do the same process over and over until I've completed all four sections. Now all sections are detangled and lathered up with shampoo. It's time to rinse. Are you following? Good. Let's move on to the next section. So this is what my hair looks like after I did my first rinse. As you can see, I've got some curls. I still got heat damage from a while ago, but the length is lengthening as you can see. <laughs> and some of the curls are popping, but yeah, their smell is just still like, it's not bad, but it's, you know, the build up smell, the hair product smell, the wax and the creams and the what have you well leave-ins I should say plus I have got hair grease on my hair so I do want to make sure that I get the extra coat off now not to say the first rinse I did with the Tresemme shampoo didn't alleviate my hair from the hair grease it did but I just like to make sure my hair is squeaky clean so now I've detangled my hair I'm going back through those sections and just making sure I go over my roots again just to make sure I've removed as much build up as possible not just as much all of the build up <laughs> Right, so this is my hair when it's completely rinsed. My hair feels a lot better, it feels fresher. So now I'm gonna go in with my deep conditioner. And this will add in the protein in my hair that my hair needs. I'm gonna smooth it from my roots. No, I'm gonna smooth it from my ends to my roots. Reason being because as you know, the ends of your hair are the oldest parts of your hair and then I'm gonna work my way up. The reason why I'm working my way up and leaving my roots till last is because when my hair was in a protective style, that was the part I concentrated on when I was doing my washes. So, as you can see, my hair was sectioned and I put it away for about an hour. But this time, guys, I didn't do it with heat. I do have low porosity hair, but I didn't deep condition my hair with heat. However, I'm going in for added moisture with my Tresemme Quick Washout Conditioner. Why am I using a second conditioner, you may ask? Because I need as much moisture as possible. Yes, I washed and conditioned my hair whilst it was in the protective style, but this is two months later. My hair needs as much moisture as possible, as well as my hair being low porosity. It takes a longer time for moisture to penetrate into my strands. There you go. <laughs> so I'm just applying this quick washout conditioner, like I did with the deep conditioner, as you can see. 
and I'm just going to leave that for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Make sure you get those back bits. There you go. Make sure no stone is left unturned. Right. So I'm going to put my hair up. And then these are going to be the final results. There you go. That's what my hair is looking like right now after I've done the whole wash day. Nice, thick, luxurious. Look at that juicy hair. I'm very happy with the progress. What do you think? Now that you've seen the wash day, you're going to want to see how I style my hair and the products that I use to keep my hair moisturized, to keep my hair out of the way, to keep my hair in a low manipulative style and keep it flourishing, keep the thickness, keep the length retention. So you're going to need to watch this video coming up.